Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP 225 G5 laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your memory. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. So you have these three screws along the bottom edge, these three screws here toward the middle, these two toward the upper middle, and then these two right here underneath your battery. Now to get your battery out, you're going to take both of these sliders and you're going to slide them into each other toward the center of the computer. Then you can slide your battery out by sliding it away from the computer. After getting all those screws out, there are two hidden screws underneath these two rubber feet here. So you right here on, on that line. So that top part stays, this bottom part from that line folds down. So you can peel that up and it will reveal a screw on either side. After taking all the screws out, you're going to take a small flat pry tool and you're going to go across the seam all the way around the computer to pry the bottom case off. Now this bottom case was a little bit of a pain, uh, so you're going to have to be very firm. Go slow, uh, be patient, and don't put the pry tool too far into the computer. You can damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge. And if you get stuck in one area, leave it, go around, and continue on in the other direction. After you get the bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of the computer. Now, as a side note, guys, for any computer repair project, I always have my computer sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in the computer when you're working on it. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your project, There'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll show you many of the tools and supplies that I use in my shop. And I will also include in that link all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, the 225 G5. Now here's your RAM right here. You have this port here with a RAM stick in it. And many of you stock will have this extra port without a RAM stick in it. Now the way you operate RAM is there's two spring-loaded metal arms on either side. To get the RAM stick out, you would gently pry those apart away from the RAM stick. The RAM stick will then release. Oftentimes it will even pop up a little bit and then you can slide it out of this plug right there. The way to get the RAM back in, if you guys notice, there's a short plug here and a long plug there. So you can only put the RAM stick in the right way. You can't put it in upside down. And then you get it in there, get it nice and flush and straight. Make sure this gold line is straight. And then you press down in the center and those arms will latch onto it and secure it in place. Now that's how you operate the RAM stick. The information for the replacement or upgrade, if you're looking for it, this computer has a maximum capacity of 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now many of you stock will only have a four gigabyte stick. So that allows you to upgrade in, in, in a few ways. Uh, below in the description in that link I told you about with all the upgrade and replacement parts, I will have a 16 gigabyte kit, which would be two eight gigabyte sticks uh, that would max out your RAM. I'll also include just a single eight gigabyte stick if you guys are looking to upgrade, but not necessarily max out. The RAM information here, this is DDR3L RAM, SDRAM. Uh, the stick that was in this computer was PCL-12800. I'll have that information below in the description. And I guess as a last side note with this RAM operation, I always tell my customers that RAM and the hard drive, these are some of the cheapest and easiest upgrades you can do to a computer to get max performance out of it. So if you do nothing else, try to at least max out that RAM. If you want the same detailed information for the hard drive, uh, as this video had for the RAM, I'll have a video link above, also below in the description for the hard drive. But this is how you access your RAM in the 225G5. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button, you can click on that. You can select a tip amount here, 
Second way, you can use your Cash App. Find me at dollar sign PC Helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.